Moving on, we have Beyonce. Okay, and let me tell y'all, the queen, the queen is in the building. And the queen has bagged herself eight other nominations for the Grammys to total up to, if she does win all of them, she will have 89 Grammys. 89. She will be the first person with the most number of Grammys um, in, in, in the recent years because the people who are on top of this list were her husband, Jay-Z, and I think someone else, let me see, um, only her husband had about 80 and Paul McCartney had about 79 nominations. So now she has superseded her husband who has 80 nominations and she has officially gotten Hey, 85. I mean, the most nominated woman for the Grammys is Beyonce. Can you believe it? It goes to show that, you know what? It's insane. She's spoken about this before saying that we only see the ones that she gets, but there's some which she might lose. Because think about it. These are nominations. She hasn't necessarily won the award. So she might end up not bagging all of them. But regardless, think about that. 89. That is insane. Is it 89 or is it 85? It is, yeah, it is 85 Grammys. Apologies. And this will be her 65th Grammy Award. I hope she will be attending because uh, this girl does do her thing. She got this nomination mostly from her new album, The Renaissance Age. And we are excited because we love that album. Hey, when you hear Cuff It and all of these other songs, you just want to jam. Honestly, I love this babe. She does a thing. She does a thing.